क्षमा करु न पहुदुई जना निताई गौर चंद्र दिस इज अ सॉन्ग संग बाय लोचन दास ठाकुर ए ग्रेट डिवोट यू आर नॉट चैतन्य ऑलमोस्ट कॉन्टेम्पररी ही रोट वन बो चैतन्य मंगल डिपिक्टिंग द एक्टिविटीज ऑल आर चैतन्य दैट इज अ वेरी फेमस बो चैतन्य मंगल एंड ही हेज कंपोज मेनी सॉन्ग्स प्रैक्टिकली ऑल वैष्णवास दे आर ट्रांसेंडेंटली पोएटिक there is one of the 26 qualifications of the vaishnava so he says that these two lords uh, nitai gaura chandra uh, lord nitananda and lord uh, gauranga or lord chaitanya they are very merciful in karni सब अवतार सार शिल दे आर एसेंस ऑफ ऑल इनकारनेशन द इनकारनेशन इज स्टेटेड इन द भगवद गीता दट वेन अबैट देर इज डिस्क्रिपेंसिज इन द प्रसिक्यूशन ऑफ रिलीजियासिटीज एंड देर इज Uh, prominence of uh, impious activities at that time the lord incarnates or he descends on this material world for protecting the pious and annihilating the impious that is the mission of incarnation every incarnation will find two things lord krishna he is so beautiful so kind but he is very dangerous to the demons the demons were seeing him as thunderbolt and the gopis were seeing him as the uh most beautiful cupid so in the bhagavad gita also it is stated ji jatha mang prapadant the god is realized in proportion to one's freedom from the demoniac propensities so in this age uh of course the last incarnation kolki he will simply uh, kill uh, long long after he will come but here lord chaitanya his mission is no killing simply favoring uh, that is the specific characteristic of lord chaitanya because in this age uh of course there is very much prominence of irreligiosity but if lord chaitanya wanted to kill him a uh, kill them then there is no question of their salvation they would be of course anyone who is killed by incarnation is also get salvation but not to the spiritual planets but they merge into the brahma ifalians as the impersonalist desire and in other words the impersonalist goal of uh, salvation is as good as the goal of salvation of the enemies of god that is not a very difficult job so lord chaitanya is merciful 
because he is embracing everyone by bestowing a love of Krishna. Rupa Goswami has described Lord Chaitanya as the most munificent of all the incarnation because he is giving Krishna to everyone without any qualification. So Lachandas Thakur says that parama karuna pahadriya nitai gaura chanda, that they are a sense of all incarnation. Kevala ananda kamla. And their preaching process is very uh, pleasing. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommends we chant Hare Krishna, dance nicely, and when you feel tired, just take rest and eat Krishna Prasad. So his formula is very pleasing. Kevala Ananda comes. While he was present in Jagannath Puri every day in the evening, dancing was chanting and dancing continued. And after dancing is finished, he used to distribute sumptuously prasadam of Jagannath. So many thousands of people used to assemble every night. But simply transcendentally pleasing this movement, Kevala Ananda Then he recommends Bhajo Bhajo Bhai Chaitanya Nitai. My dear brother, just uh, try to worship these two lords, Chaitanya and Nityananda, Sudhira Vishyasupe, with faith and conviction. Uh, one should have faith in the words of Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya says that go on chanting. Simply by chanting one will get all perfection of life. So this is a fact. Unless we take to chanting we cannot realize it. But those who are chanting, they are realizing that they are getting all desired perfection of life very quickly. So we should chant this mantra with faith and conviction. But the only qualification required in this connection, he says, Vishaya chariya serase majiya mukhe balo hari We have to chant with faith and conviction. At the same time, we should take care, we should be guarding against Sense enjoyment. Vishaya charya. Vishaya means sense enjoyment. And charya means give up. One should give up sense enjoyment. Of course, in this materialistic life, uh, we have got our senses and we have practiced to use them. We cannot stop it. But there is no question of stopping, but regulating it. Uh, just like we want to eat. Vishaya means eating, sleeping, mating, and defending. So these things are not forbidden altogether. But they are adjusted just to make it favorable for executing my Krishna consciousness. So uh, we should not take, just like uh, eating, we should not eat just to satisfy the taste we should eat only just to keep ourselves fit for executing Krishna consciousness. So eating is not stopped, but it is regulated, favorable. Similarly, uh, mating. Mating is also not stopped. But uh, the regulative principle is that you should marry and you should have sex life only for begetting children Krishna consciousness. Otherwise, don't do it. So everything is regulated. There is no question of stopping defense also. Arjuna was fighting, defending under the order of Krishna. So everything is there. Nothing stops. Simply it is adjusted uh, for executing our Krishna consciousness. 
বিষয় ছাড়িয়া উই শুড নট অ্যাকসেপ্ট দিস বিষয় দিস ফোর প্রিন্সিপালস অফ বডিলি ডিমান্ডস নেমলি ইটিং স্লিপিং মেটিং এন্ড ডিফেন্ডিং ফর সেন্স গ্যাটিফিকেশন ন দি পলিটিশিয়ান্স দে ফাইট ফর সেন্স গ্যাটিফিকেশন দে ডু নট সি টু দি গুড অফ দি পিপল ফর দে আর পলিটিক্যাল অ্যাগ্রান্ডাইজমেন্ট দে ফাইট that fight is for win but when fight is necessity for defending people that fighting should be taken so we have to give up this principle of sense gratification or sense gratificatory process dakho dakho bhai tibu bane nai then he says uh, just see uh, there there is nobody else so merciful pashu pakhi jhure pasano bila by his mercy even the birds and bees they are also melted actually when chaitanya mahaprabhu passed through the forest known as jhari khanda in central india uh, he was only accompanied by his personal attendant and he was alone and when he was passing through the forest he touched one tiger he was sleeping and the tiger answered roaring and the the company chaitanya mahaprabhu's attendant he thought now you are gone uh, but actually chaitanya mahaprabhu asked the tiger why you are sleeping just stand up chant hari krishna and the tiger began to dance so actually uh, this happened when chaitanya mahaprabhu preached this hari krishna movement the tigers the deers the everyone joined so of course we are not so powerful uh, but it is possible that at least we have seen the dogs are dancing in sankirtan so it is possible also uh, to take but we may not attend uh, such great risk but uh, chaitanya mahaprabhu could induce tigers to dance we can at least induce every human being to dance this is such a nice moment So pashu pakhi sudhe pashano bhidare. Pashano means stone. So even the stone-hearted man also melts by chanting Hare Krishna that you have experienced, seen. Uh, pashano bhidare. Suni jaro guno gatha. Simply by hearing the uh, transcendental pastimes and characteristics of Lord Chaitanya, even hard hearted men they also melted there are many instances jagai madhai uh, many fallen souls they became elevated to the high spiritual platform then chaita lochandas thakur says that vishaya mojiya rohili bhuli unfortunately i am so much entrapped in this uh demands of the body or the senses uh, that uh, i have forgotten the lotus feet of chaitanya mahap vishaya majiya rohili bhuliya sipade nahilo as i could not desire to be attached to the lotus feet of lord chaitanya so why it is so so he is lamenting that apano karma bhunjaye saman that i am suffering the sequence of my past misdeeds that i could not be attracted by the krishna consciousness moment it is a punishment on me by the jamara the superintendent of death actually uh, this Krishna consciousness movement, Sankirtan movement is so nice and attractive 
uh, every uh, simple, uh, I mean, say, unsophisticated person shall be attracted. Uh, but if one is not attracted, it is to be understood uh, that he is being punished by the laws of uh, the superintendent of death. Anyway, uh, if we uh, stick to this principle of chanting, then even uh, Jamaraj, the superintendent of death, he will also fail to punish. That is the verdict of Brahma Sangita. Brahma Sangita says, one who takes to this devotional life, his reaction of past deeds are uh, adjusted immediately. So every one of us should take part in this movement of Krishna consciousness by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Ram Hare.